This is uh, number six on uh, Staten Skill. On my last video in the series, number five, I promised it would be the last one, but I changed my mind, even in the middle of recording the video. This is uh, number six on uh, Staten's Kill and why I use them. I wanted to go back and, re and uh, re recover the risk-benefit analysis from Rory Col Collins and Associates. I think the name of the group is the Staten Trialists Group. It's in Lancet, September 8th of 2016. It's quoted by Jack, the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, when they're talking about the public health implications of so many people stopping statins. Because of lay press and a lot of focus on the downside of statins, in their, in their article, they say, look, they quote another article indicating that uh, between what two and six thousand people uh, are estimated to have died because they stopped their statins. Now, I would not. I actually don't use statins uh, nearly as many as as your standard docs, and I don't use them for the standard recommendations. I don't use them for ten percent risk or more by Framingham. I don't use them for um, high LDL. I use them if somebody has a positive. I mean, I've occasionally used them that for that, but not not very often. My standard indication is if someone has plaque in their artery, even if it's plaque that doesn't obstruct the flow. Now, how do you find that out? Uh, see the last video on this. It's CIMT and uh, statins. So if you have uh, more than normal plaque and even if it's not obstructing the flow of blood, I recommend statins. What if you, if I recommend statins and you don't want to take them? That's fine. Again, at times a third to a half of my patients in that category have not wanted to take them. So that's some background information uh, on this recurring series of statin uh, risks. But let's go back and just spend a little bit more time on Rory Collins and their benefit risk ratio. Actually, I would, I would agree with folks like uh, Ativ uh, Malhotra, who would say that statins, uh, most statin scripts may do more damage than they help. Hey, if you're interested in a two-day boot camp type of environment where you get your CIMT, you get all your labs, and we spend two days going over the whole thing, Check out our event. It's November 8th and 9th at Louisville. Great place to fly into in November at the University of Louisville. And here's why. Uh, again, most uh, statin scripts are for statins like uh, atorvastatin or Lipitor and given for elevated LDL. Elevated LDL is not, is not a major usually not a major risk issue. And uh, unfortunately, atorvastatin doesn't impact cardiovascular risk, uh, cardiovascular inflammation as much as the other statins. In addition, focusing on LDL and uh, atorvastatin, people te docs tend to use way too high a dose. My routine uh, recommendation, if someone has a 40% probability of a heart attack and stroke, because they have plaque, is five milligrams of resuvastatin per day or less. I've got several people that are on two and a half of resuvastatin twice a, twice a week. How can you do that? It's got a long half-life, about 17 to 19 hours. That's a different video. We'll be Actually, I recorded that a couple of weeks ago. It'll be coming out the next few weeks on Lavalo or patavastatin versus uh, resuvastatin and, um, and the dosage recommendations and half-life. Just look for Ford Brewer half-life. And it's not half-life the game. So let's go back to Rory Collins and the statin trialist groups. Again, they're major defenders of statins. And again, they come out of the blocks acknowledging that statins have killed. But their perspective is they, they actually go through a, 
a uh, meta-analysis, a Cochrane-style meta-analysis, and look at how often statins have killed and look at how often statins have caused side effects. Here's the list they came up with out of 10,000 people on for, I think it's either five or 10 years. It, taking statins, five of them will have muscle problems. That's myopathy. And one out of, what, gosh, I don't know how many muscle problem folks will actually have rhabdomyolysis and uh, death. Again, very rare. Actually, the number is a few out of a million people on statins. New onset diabetes, or actually some increase in uh, blood glucose, five to, uh, to uh, 50 to 100 out of 10,000 people. And hemorrhagic stroke, again, I would put that aside because that was a, a perceived risk, which has not been shown to be, uh, to be valid. Here's the issue. Look at the deaths on the other side. The first one they're looking at is somebody is a group that at five uh, percent risk of death, and the second is a group of ten percent risk of death. So, the five percenters, uh, there's ten thousand of them, five hundred died in that uh, five to ten years. The ten uh, ten percent risk of death, folks, a thousand out of ten ten thousand. Now you do have there is a difference here between risk of event and risk of death. As you know from other statistics, about half of the people that have a heart attack uh, die from it. And I think it's like a quarter of people from, that have a stroke die from it. So, again, the vast majority of these are preventable, and statins are one of the ways to prevent them. Had a long series about statins. I'm going to finish that up uh, now, I promise. But I will finish it up with a comment. It gets back to that same old mantra you can't supplement your way out of a bad lifestyle, neither can you give, medicate your way out of a bad lifestyle. And statins are powerful, but they're not going to replace a lifestyle. The most important thing is lifestyle. Now, even lifestyle has some risks, but minimal compared to medications and depending on things like supplements. Supplements have their place, medications have their place, even statins have their place. Thank you again for your interest. By the way, if you're interested, check out our website. We're going to have an event at University of Louisville Conference Center where you can get your CIMT and all your labs. And we'll have a two-day boot camp experience going over all of that.